bus station. Bus station. <laughs> bus station. Bus station in house. We're going to Provinci house. With my black you When the sun goes down in a bad one for <laughs> I always want to know like this way. Oh, I'll be here soon. Let me try. Let You also use one alone? Huh? Yeah, I don't know. You, you alone? Yeah, that's my kind of person. Um, but I mean, the shape. Yeah. Hey. You have shape? No, I'm good without. Okay. Like what? <laughs> you don't know how to call this for. Yeah, I'll take it. Are you doing it? Yeah. Uh, also, this special. What? YouTube. Hello, YouTube. <laughs> so this is kind of what I am. It's a nice building. I think it's going to fall. Be careful. Be careful with your heart. <laughs> <laughs> Careful with your heart. <laughs> oh, I'm sweating. Oh. Take off your jacket. Yeah. Oh, sweat here. Yeah, sweat. Not everything with it. We're here in the province of Health. It's nice here. Oh, yeah, you can see it. Right. Oh. <laughs> We're here now. Let's go. Oh, it's sweating. It's sweating. It's sweating. It's sweating. But how is that? So, welcome in the County Hall of Limburg. My name is Hilda, and we will take a tour through this building to see what it is about, and of course to uh, find out uh, who is needed, who is necessary to govern this province. I don't know if you have any idea who's on top of the. No. no well, it's easy. It's a governor. <laughs> well. I don't suppose you know him, but we'll see some pictures a little bit further down the hall. Okay, so where are we now? This is the entrance, and we are next to the entrance. You see that? Yeah. And I don't know if you saw this statue. No. Oh, it's a friendly statue, <laughs> in case you doubt it. Uh, this building was built uh, in the late 80s, beginning of 90s, and before that, all the administration was located in the center of Hassel, but located in different buildings. So the efficiency was well, not really good. So they decided to build uh, a big building where all the administration was located in the same place, so they could have meetings without problems. 
So now a little bit more than 25 years that it is here, and it still looks good. Furthermore, there has never been changes, made any changes to the building, except now. And I will explain a little bit later why there are some changes. Now, the architects that designed the building uh, tried to create a project that is that represents our province. So I don't know where you live, but if you live in Limburg, you noticed perhaps that we don't have like these skyscrapers, these tall, tall buildings. You know. So the architects decided that they didn't want to do that here because it wouldn't be representative of the province. So it looks like a little village with some houses in it. So a very friendly, uh, welcoming building. That was the, the idea. The building is uh, divided into several blocks. They each have a letter, so it's easier to guide people. This is block A, which we call the public block because there are some meeting rooms um, and uh, for 20 to 200 people that can have meetings over there. Then there's block B, D, and E. That's for administration. So the offices, small meeting rooms, <coughs> small kitchens for coffee, water, etc., uh, are located over there. Um, then I skipped C because this is C. It's the cafeteria. So at lunch, at noon, you can have soup, salad, sandwiches, or even uh, a main course, a meal. But if you want that, you have to uh, make a reservation. So in the morning, if you come to the office, you open the computer, you look up the menu, what's on the menu? Uh, at noon, if you like it, you can prescribe. And then uh, at noon, there's a meal waiting for you. That's to prevent too much uh, uh, waste. Yes, okay. And of course, the most popular meal is French fries with uh, beef stew. The little Flemish beef stew, of course. Yes. <laughs> uh, you won't get any French fries, but I can give you something to drink. So we have, we'll have a little break over here, uh, some coffee or something fresh. Okay, good. Now, um, the main block, or the most important block, is this one. It's the F block, and there is the county hall, it's the offices of the governor, of the deputies. So you'll see the difference between this part and that part, which is more fancy, more elegant, of course, because it's the most important block. All these blocks are connected to one another, which what we call the light street. And look up there, you see it? It's also in the shape of a letter. What letter? Uh, the L of? Limburg. Yes. So the architects didn't just put something together, there's still the idea behind it. Uh, how many people work here? Well, about eight, 850. Yeah, 850 people, not all of the province, also some of the federal government and of the Flemish government. So it's a little bit of a mix, but most of them, of course, of the uh, province. So next to the governor, who is important to govern the province? Let's see that a little bit further away. Let's go look. Find it. Let's go look at it. Opa. Opa. So because this is a democracy, we have elections, and uh, October last year, there were elections for the cities and the provinces. We elected this group, 31 people. <coughs> That's not that much, because it used to be 63, and before that, it used to be 75 council members. So it shrank a little, trunk, sorry, it shrank a little bit, uh, 31. That's all that is left. Why? Because the responsibilities of the province have uh, decreased. Because, you know, Belgium is a small country. And you have the level, the city level, you have the province level, you have the Flemish level, and the federal level, mm. it's too much. Mm. So they decided that the province, which is an in-between level, shouldn't do everything, and they shrunk a little bit the responsibility. So if you don't have that many things to do, you don't need that many people to, uh, to make it happen. So 31 council members, they come from all over the province, the south and north, say, and from those group of people, they choose one president, this guy, he's the president, and they choose four deputies, that's this group. The governor? deputies. So the governor here is not chosen by the people. So we didn't elect him. Uh, how does he get his job? Because it's a job. He gets his job by the Flemish government. So if he stops, they are going to look for a new governor. Who are, are they going to pick? Well, they will pick someone, well, mostly a pol politician and someone who knows a lot of people and who is like a diplomat because he's, he has to be a governor of all the inhabitants, not just for, from his political party. So the moment he gets to be elected governor or um, appointed governor, he cannot be member of a political party anymore because he's neutral. Okay? He stays governor um, until uh, his retirement, which is at 67, before they were appointed for life. But of course, we all age and age and age. We get too old nowadays. So they say, okay, not for life, but until your retirement, which is 60. Or until he says, it's enough, I stop. Okay, so it's his job. And um, let's see, together with the four deputies, they have their offices in the F block where they uh, meet every Thursday. So every Thursday, they have a meeting and they decide on what to do, uh, what projects that they want to uh, evolve, that they want to pursue in the province regarding tourism, economy, the environment, education, etc. those things. What is gone? Before, they also had culture, youth, sports, so well-being, a lot more, but as I explained, that, uh, that part is skipped. That's now to the Flemish level or the communities that take care of that. So, of course, 31 people means that they have to look for a new majority. Well, a new or the same if everything stays the same. But it has changed, and as of January, there's a new majority, and I don't know if you know any political parties. 
Belgium? Yeah. Can you name one? Yeah. NVI. Socialists, Liberals, uh, Flans Belang, and CDNV, which is Catholic Party. Yes. Okay, so these six parties also uh, uh, are also present in the uh, in the county council, and the majority now is CDNV, so Catholic Party, NVI, which is the Flemish Nationalists, and uh, Open VLD, which is the Liberal Party. Of those group of people, they choose the four deputies. And of course, the president is also a member of the majority. That's how you get elected, of course, when you are part of the majority. Okay, now, when the, this building um, was opened, they tried to create, a, well, a logo. Let's call it a logo. And that's what you see here. Provincie Limburg. And it's written a little bit in a strange way. Yeah, like all these letters, Provincie, it's real long, and a Limburg, a normal. Well, there's an idea behind it. And the idea is that uh, our province is a very, um, it's a mix of everything. Not only a mix of people, huh? you come from everywhere. Mm -hmm. Not only you, but with the coal mines before, we have Italians, Greek, Czech, Poland, I mean, all kinds of nationalities in Limburg, but not only the people. If you go and look at the landscape, in the south, it's very rural, you have a lot of agriculture. If you go to the north, the Kempen, there's, it's sandy, so it's not that good for agriculture, but there's a lot of forests. In the middle, we have uh, also a lot of industry, so the, and the Maas, the River Meuse, is also present. So the, the variation is so big, that's why these letters are so long. so long, a lot of variation. But still, all together, one Limburg. One province. That's the idea behind it. Yeah. yeah. You can see it. If you receive, perhaps, once a year, we get a letter. I don't know if you guys already get a letter. It's to pay taxes yeah. for the province. And then on top, you see that logo. Every file that goes around in this house has that uh, logo, etc. So it's what they call uh, the style of the house. Yeah. Okay. Now, before, you could just walk through this building. Like, it's, it's was for free. Say, you don't have to pay now, but you cannot just enter like that because the door is closed. And that's, of course, um, uh, the consequence of the attacks that happened, the bombings, etc. The world is not such a safe place anymore, even in Belgium. So that's why it's closed and everybody needs a badge. I have it, so no problem. <laughs> Let me open the door. <laughs> and that's okay. Oh, they didn't play. Yeah. 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 Sorry, Miss <laughs> Cecil. <laughs> so we are walking in the street and have a look around. What makes you think? Nature. What reminds you of the street? What is the same as you find in the streets? The tree. The bricks, the bricks. yes. Well, the tree. The, the boom. The tree, yes. Yeah. What did you say? Nature. It's nature. like nature. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that it is a breeze, yes. But look at the lamp, yeah. The lamp. And if you, I don't know if you drive or if you cycle, but if you see that, do you know what that is? In Dutch, we call it Hanetanda, Shakti. It's uh, to avoid you, take care, there's a crossing yeah. here. You have to slow down, look down to see if there's no uh, traffic yep. coming. Of course, we're on foot, no problem, but still, it's uh, to give you the idea of the street. Yeah, bridge. <laughs> and not to forget directions. Direction. Because if they tell you it has to be in block E, uh, room 0003, it's like a what? And then you follow directions, you will get there. Well, I told no, you nothing. that there's people there making changes. Look, they're closing here. This used to be open. They're closing it now. I don't know if you know why it is. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so uh, their new offices will come here. They will have a, a, their own entrance. If you come in, there's a new entrance uh, being built. So they will have to meet people into there. And what is the why do they need a new entrance? Because normally this building is closed on Saturdays and Sundays. And some of the offices are open on Saturday mornings. Well, we cannot open the entire building. So they have a own entrance and then only that part will be open. Yeah, that's much. The last one. Yes. Oh, it's uh, the yeah. classrooms as well? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know. I, I don't know exactly where, but I'm just passing the plan. Oh, okay. I suppose somewhere here. Yeah, so, yeah, okay. Okay, interesting. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> So, there are a lot of works of art in the building, most of them of uh, artists from this province, which is logical because the province wants to support them. And uh, this is also a piece of art. Can you guess what the material is made of? Metal? It's not metal. Sorry? Plastic? Plastic. No, from the electric. <laughs> 
it's very strange because this is possible. Ah, listen. You know where C minus the yeah. cinema? Yes. Uh, if you have the, the roundabout, there's a, a direction saying Pete Stockmans of the year. And this guy Pete Stockmans, he is an artist famous for his porcelain. And he made, he worked as a product designer in a factory. He created a coffee cup which has been made or produced millions and millions of times. But that was one part of his work. And then the other part is he's a, an artist. He creates things. But sometimes he likes to pretend that he does the same things in the factory. Meaning he makes the same thing over and over again. But in the factory, if you create the same thing over and over, it's always the same. If you do that as an artist by hand, every piece is different. So that's why all the pieces are different. It's called repetition, but of course it's not made in the factory. Um, how can you know that? Well, I guess you've never been to a restaurant where they have three Michelin stars. So the level is really high, 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 and price as well. We don't want to know the prices. Well, he creates plates for those restaurants. Yes, so he's asked uh, by a lot of people to create things. Normally, he never, well, he works always in white and blue. Because if you make porcelain, and you have to bake it in the oven, and if you bake it in the oven, all the colors fade away. So this is supposed to be red, but the red is like, wow, it's faded away because of the heat of the oven. He created a color that stays beautiful, and it's called Stockmann's Blue. It's his color. Yeah. And that's why if you see a, a vase or something that he creates, it's, most of the time it's white and blue. Yeah. But why this creation in this way? Come and have a look on this side. Space. Doesn't this remind you of something I just told you before? Something that is long, Provincial yes. Limburg. Global, uh, it's similar to that one. Yes. Now, the works of art are created to fit in this building, specifically for this building, uh, and have, like, kind of, it's just a decoration, or we have pieces of art more like with a political background, a little bit of both. Okay. And sometimes art is in a strange place. Like, I take to create this, you think? 50. 50 years. Yeah. Well, it's here from the beginning. 25, right. well, more than 25 oh, years ago. Yes. And uh, of course, it's not the personnel that works here that comes by and, oh, let's try something. No, there's a company uh, taking care of all the plants, etc. And they created this uh, beautiful, wow. Well, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so uh, one, uh, two. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> On the model of the building, I forgot to point out that uh, the administration blocks have a little garden in the middle. You see that? Mm -hmm. uh, there's a reason for it. But because of the garden, every office has an outside window, well, street, or there's a window on the garden side. So it's nice to work here. <coughs> I have, you know what the weather is like. You can open a window for some fresh air. It's not like artificial. So it's a nice environment to work in. <laughs> Opa. You know that? Opa. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It's what? And you will notice the difference immediately because here you see the bricks, and on the other side, the walls are painted with a very special technique called Marvella. Uh, here are just normal tiles, on the other side, it's marble, so it's uh, a bit more fancy. And if you receive guests in your Welcome. house, <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> Welcome, King. I'm the Conning. We need to close. Malikabi. Only special need. Oh, extreme. Can you read that? Because it's one hit against you. So, just to say that you're welcome here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Juan. The Cunning Queen. Yeah, the king and queen.
We've had many governors since the starting of uh, Belgium and the province of Limburg. Some of them have a painting here and one statue. We had the first female governor of Belgium. That's Hilde Hogebergkamp. She was from uh, Sint Reude. You know where it is? It's in the south. Yes. And uh, have a look at the different governors. Which one do you think was the first governor of our province? Yeah, of course. That one. <laughs> look at this clip. Yeah. So, uh, well, distinguished. Yeah. I think that's a good word to yeah. describe it. Yes. And um, if you have to be in hustle, they will say, go to the Gouverneur of the the Gouverneur of which is all the written around the council. It has the names of some of the important uh, governors. Yes. Uh, and this one statue is from a, um, a special artist, Gabrielsis, also a jeweler. And he created this statue in a typical, typical way. And I, we have another of his uh, uh, works in the uh, council hall. And you will notice that he always splits his people. <laughs> it's very famous. But he doesn't just split them, there's always Me. something to discover. And what is there to discover? Well, he says behind every strong man is a woman. strong woman. Yes. So if you look at the statue, you will see that here, you can see the woman. <laughs> let, let the woman see. Let me see. Where's the woman? Hi, hiding. Wow. Oh my gosh. Can I take selfie? <laughs> Can I take selfie? Take picture of me as a selfie. picture of me. It's nice. Beautiful. Yeah.
Kim lang kami. Na drink na. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, parang para sa ka. Yo, magis. Yo, magis ni bisa. Hello guys, we're almost done. <laughs> we're ready to drink some cold chocolate. <laughs> we're going outside. <laughs> Ambassador of Limburg, so you get a sticker. You can, well, put it on a, a bike, a car, I don't know, <coughs> somewhere to prom say yes, we're from Limburg mm -hmm. and we like uh, our province. Uh, and then, if you want to practice your Dutch and you want to read more about what I told you in English, well, try <coughs> see if you can read it in Dutch. It's not always easy, but at least you get some pictures. Oops, sorry, some pictures of the people. How the governor is in there. And hello the guys. Hello, hello. Pasensya na, hindi ko na kayo nasama kanina sa hassle at nakapagkita ko sa friend ko ni si Ate Lay. And then yung mga classmate ko, nagkiwalay na rin kami, pati yung mga teacher ko. Mm, nalobat kasi ako guys. So, hindi, ako, hindi na ako nakapag say hi, I'm Miho ni Hasem. <laughs> kasi nga, nalobat na guys, ginamit ko yung data ko. And, ayun, nalobat siya. So, ayan, kakauwi ko lang. Nakabili ako ng Nakabili ako ng ganito guys ng food ni baby for today tapos yung mga ganito M&M M&M and then some sneakers guys tatlong ganito and then Mars may mga ganito na rin ako nabili guys ayun lang yeah, M&M na to M&M sneakers M&M yan and <laughs> wala yung kumakita ayan. ayan guys bumila ko ng yung para sa yung pagtapos ng makeup yung lalagay na <laughs> tapos ito guys bumili din ako ng ganito ng socks ni daddy then yung pangtanggal ng mga alikabok parang alikabok ko ba yun ito lang then Natapon. Then, ganito guys, yung candy na maasin. Ayun lang, guys. Sobrang haba ng video na to. Kasi, um, tinur ko kayo. Sinama ko kayo sa ano namin kanina. Yung sa probinsya, Oskay. <laughs> and, thank you again for watching, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe. And, click the notification bell para update sa, sa aming mga video. <laughs> thank you, guys. And God bless. Bye-bye. And hi sa mga classmate ko. Sa mga classmate and friends ko na nanonood ng video. Bye-bye guys. God bless.